If you really want to understand food and history of Americas, you have to look at indigenous food because that's where history begins. Today we're in Minneapolis and we're about to meet a chef who is tackling American cuisine from an entirely new perspective, a native perspective. Let's see how the past is influencing the food culture of now. This is the food of my ancestry, like direct ancestry, the food of my great-grandfather's era. And having virtually no Native American restaurants out there, kids growing up on reservations today, you don't know what their traditional foods are. I am enrolled in the Oglala Lakota tribe in Pine Ridge, South Dakota. And after a few years of being a chef in the city, I kind of had an epiphany of I should be doing food of my own heritage. You can literally get food from anywhere in the world here, except for Native American food, which is the food of this region and the food that's right under our feet here. Post-1862, it was made illegal to be Dakota in Minnesota. Governor Ramsey said that Dakota people should be exterminated or driven beyond the borders of the state forever. When you look at the names of groups of people, what they're referring to often is where we're from. We're the people of the Knife River. We're the people of the Sacred Lake. When you are divorced from that, you lose so much. I'm gonna use the word renaissance, but there's something like really exciting and beautiful going on in Indian country. Sean is a big part of it here locally, I think. In the 12 years you've been researching, what traditional ingredients have you discovered? When I was looking back, trying to discern what was traditional and what had been kind of introduced, um, we did have some pieces that were still utilized and still utilized today. So we did gather a lot of choke cherries, timsala, which is a prairie turnip. And we did have bison around. We did hunt a lot, so I gathered lots of we had antelope, venison, rabbits. The foods are delicious and beautiful, and we want to drive economic uh, prosperity back in Indian country. The idea of reclaiming health, community health, is huge. So we really want to try to get that out there to combat a lot of these foodborne illnesses that we see, especially on native communities, high rates of diabetes, obesity, heart disease, any of those kinds of things that really stem from bad diet. Food is kind of the heart of culture, so it doesn't matter where you come from, what your heritage is, you kind of look backwards on your grandparents and your great-grandparents' lineage and for the work that we're doing in helping to revitalize and reintroduce a lot of these traditional foods and techniques and flavors, it's going to strengthen our cultures and strengthen our identities as we move forward. For more information, please visit uprocks.com.